I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, your one-stop shop for living on a Bitcoin standard. Sign up and grab gift cards for eSIMs, gaming, e-commerce, your travel needs, food, and much more, and you can buy them all with Bitcoin and Lightning. Sign up today and use code BTC Sessions 10 for some special perks. We've had a, a high fee environment this last little bit. And so that's made a lot of people kind of evaluate how efficiently they are using Bitcoin on chain. Lightning is becoming ubiquitous. A lot of people are using Lightning. But also it's important to note that the custodial options are easy and quick, but of course you're giving up custody. So there's trade-offs there. And on top of that, we just saw the wallet of Satoshi get pulled off the app store in uh, in the US. So there's less options in that realm. So that kind of phases us with the reality of like, okay, well, if you want to use Lightning, you have to, you know, there's lots of options on mobile that is self-custody, but you also need to think a bit more about, well, how am I using this? And you need to have a little bit of idea about liquidity and there's learning to be had and there's optimizations to be had. However, I've been experimenting around with how can your average pleb that's just stacking away little bits of Bitcoin here and there, um, that's trying to dollar cost average, still do that in a way that is we'll say, as self-sovereign as possible without getting raked over the coals when they're dealing with on-chain fees. And so the video that I've made actually integrates three things. Um, number one, an exchange that doesn't suck. An exchange that is at least being efficient in batching transactions and hopefully covering the on-chain fee because they're sending out to many, many customers all at the same time. Component number two is one that I think is hideously underused and has a decent trade-off for the midterm or for the, the, the medium amount of stacking. And that's the liquid network. And the reason I say that is because you can, you can peg into the liquid network directly from an exchange. So even if your exchange only does on-chain withdrawals, you can basically send to a wallet called Sideswap. It'll peg directly into liquid. You're now on liquid Bitcoin, which fees to send around are like a, you know, a couple pennies every time you do it. And once you're in liquid, you can actually more or less instantaneously swap between liquid and lightning. And so this gives you two things. Number one, it allows you to, to stack in a way that doesn't incur on-chain fees, but it allows you to be, you know, moving around and it allows you to secure liquid with hardware which you cannot do on Lightning. And then secondly, you can easily swap into Lightning into a self-custodied wallet in an efficient way that gives you a huge channel because you'd build up a liquid balance. You could send that whole balance over to a Lightning wallet and then swap back to liquid because the fees are negligible and then have this huge inbound channel to your own Lightning wallet on your phone. So I think people are going to get a lot more inventive with how they efficiently use Bitcoin and how they think about being as self-sovereign as possible, but also utilizing the tools that we have available to us.